Speaking of, it is what it is. Um, what are we gonna talk about? You know, let's. You know, let let me show you something about the Fortnite. So I don't give a shit about Fortnite, but what I do care about is Unreal Engine 5.1. And Fortnite at this point is basically Epic's like Unreal Tech demo. <laughs> <laughs> like, it's their Unreal Tech demo that's actually, like, a good game. I don't care about your audio. I don't, I'm not going to mute that. So, Unreal 5.1 introduces something known as uh, Nanite. But, so, they already had Nanite, but now Nanite works on foliage. Previously, it didn't. So, you basically, the idea of, of Nanite is in traditional game rendering you have something known as level of detail and basically as you go further away from an object you want to show less detail because more of these objects are shown on the screen so if you show them at the same detail level that you show them like up close then you're going to have a lot of performance issues the problem with the traditional level of detail system though is basically uh it's very it's a very obvious jump. So when you go between the different levels of detail, because it's not a granular shift, like you very easily notice it. Whereas with this new system, it is basically a, it is that granular level of detail. So if you're really far away from something, like here's a great example, actually. When you're doing, I don't know what you call it, jumping out of the bus, I don't fucking play Fortnite. I just care about how cool it looks as a tech demo. All of these trees here, they... In a level of detail system, like, you could tell that they would be, like, you know, 2D images or, I or like, lower poly count than they would be. Depends on how far away it is. But with this new system, you can <clears throat> basically procedurally, um, procedurally change the detail level. So, even though they're so far away, it's... The, the detail is reduced based on that distance, rather than based on the set detail points so it doesn't look like that anything is changing because it doesn't change until you get closer to it until you get like close enough to it to actually like perceive that detail you can get these massive performance boosts with no perceivable drop in quality obviously if you configure it wrong and have the distances set wrong like it can be it can certainly be noticed but yeah, if it's done correctly, then uh, not so much. Also, there is, like, way better lighting in this game now. Like, the lighting genuinely looks good. <laughs> like, I, <laughs> I don't know how we've gotten to the point where Fortnite is a tech demo. Like, it looks... Like, look at this fucking water. Like, what the fuck is this water? Um, There was another demo on here. Wait, just show a demo with snow. Uh, okay, the snow still looks like you'd expect it looking for. Yeah, there's nothing happening with the snow. There was something in here about fire. Yeah, here we go. Here's here, here's how the fire looks. Now, Twitter is going to compress this to hell. Is it going to show me it at a reasonable quality? Of course it's not because it's Twitter, and Twitter's video compression is fucking terrible. But um, when it's not compressed to hell, this fire looks very good. Like, really, 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 really fucking good. Um, here are some other pictures. Like, what is this? What is this? This is... <laughs> like, this is... This is fucking Fortnite. This is Fortnite. Remember that game everyone mocked for how, like, how basic it looked? And now it looks better than a lot of games that are coming out right now. Like, this is the power of Unreal Engine 5 and Unreal Engine 5.1. I am so excited to see, like, what can come out of this engine when you're not trying to do it in the Fortnite style. Now, the Fortnite style works pretty well with it, but, like, when you're trying to do something really high, high fidelity, like, you are trying to take advantage of this as much as you can. I don't know. Okay, underwater it looks scuffed. Um, I don't know where. 
like how how far this can go like how good games are going to look in this engine and then once games look real yeah they, the water looks terrible under it um and then once this is like the standard for making games where we go from here like <laughs> we've already hit this like ridiculous point where things look too good what happens now I, I I don't know. I genuinely do not have a single clue what happens now. <clears throat> what I know is we're going to get some cool looking games. And I'm sure Kingdom Hearts 4 is going to look very good. Because that's, um, that's an Unreal Engine 4 game. And I'm so happy that... I'm so fucking happy that uh, Square Enix is kind of trashing their in-game engine. I don't know what 16 is using, but I really hope... <clears throat> that they're not trying to keep their own internal engines going because they clearly have no idea what they're doing with them. <laughs> like, every time they build an internal engine, it just ends up being... Uh... Okay, so FF16 is going to be Unreal 4. Why is it 4? Why is it going to be 4? Whatever. Is uh, Kingdom Hearts 4 going to be Unreal Engine 4 then? <clears throat> uh, or is it 5? Okay, okay. So I guess they still had an internal workflow based around Unreal Engine 4. I, actually, that makes sense, because Unreal Engine 5 isn't that old. Um, Unreal Engine 5... Uh, when did Unreal Engine 5 come out? Uh, oh, okay, okay, earlier this year. That makes sense. I thought it was, like, last year. Um, so... FF16's Unreal Engine 4, but going forward, their games are going to be built around Unreal Engine 5. Okay. <clears throat> okay, that, that makes sense. What that means for how KH4 is going to look? I don't know. <laughs> Assuming that Square Enix doesn't have more um, development issues like they seem to have relatively often. Uh, yeah, we'll see how that goes. I bet it's going to look ridiculous. <clears throat> like, even if they don't do anything crazy with the models, just keep it in the style... Obviously, it's going... The KH4 is going, like, real world, whatever. But, like, even if they use the models from KH3 and just stuck it in with the lighting of the of Unreal Engine 5, all the crazy, uh, all the crazy shit that's available... Yeah, yeah. It's going to look... It's going to look cracked. It's going to look pretty cracked. 